coming up on AFN Europe Report. The latest peacekeeping efforts, first with our allies in Africa, then NATO and Partnership for Peace members in Ukraine, and we take you out to the ball game in Latvia. Good evening, and welcome to AFN Europe Report. I'm Sergeant Tiffany Collins. Southern Accord 15 is an annual command post and field exercise in Zambia. U.S., Zambian, and Southern African Development Community Forces train together in support of the current UN peacekeeping mission in the Central African Republic. Training for peacekeeping missions includes crowd control. A shield wall has been a trusted defensive tactic during wartime for thousands of years. Staff Sergeant John Archiquette shows us how military police still use this technique today in peacekeeping operations. American and Zambian military police stand shield to shield, training in a defense formation to move a sensitive target out of danger. This is hardly a new tactic, but it is a specified use in peacekeeping operations. Pretty much having like that Spartan-like formation allows our um, MPs to go in extract who we need to and come come back up. Make sure you guys stay in tight. <coughs> this training is one part of Southern Accord 2015. Nalito! A multinational exercise with Southern African nations and their allies. Shields up! Shields up! These MPs are being put to the test using this morning's training to accomplish a realistic mission. Which is basically going and interacting with locals in an internally dislocated persons camp to try to get a non-government official who was trapped. When the negotiations prove ineffective, the scouts call in the MPs for support. There's only one complication. The mission must be accomplished without shields. But for these peacekeepers, the fundamentals remain the same. So it's important that you trust the man or the woman that's alongside you, whether they're American or Zambian, that they trust it as well. Because when both of you trust it, then you, you can't penetrate it. Both of you all will go in there with no fear at all, no doubts, and doubts create confusion, confusion, and then the mission can be unsuccessful. Amid the chaos of the rescue, the mission was accomplished with no shots fired in less than two minutes. A successful scenario thanks to trusting the soldier next to you. Air Force Staff Sergeant John Archiquette, Lusaka, Zambia. From soldiers training on defensive tactics to airmen training on saving lives, Staff Sergeant John Archiquette continues our coverage of Southern Accord, where American flight medics are training alongside their Zambian counterparts. Zambian flight medics get to work prepping a patient for transport. The medics picked the patient up and carried them out to the aircraft. This scenario is part of Southern Accord, where a small group of Air Force flight nurses are teaching their Zambian partners how to evacuate a patient. So we teach the Zambians basic um, life support skills, and we've also taught them basic first aid. So we gave them a scenario, we had them prepare the patient, and then we had them work as a team to carry the patient onto the aircraft. And from there, they secured the patient and then made sure he was safe to fly. For Captain Christina Stewart, this has been a memorable teaching experience. It's been wonderful. Everyone is extremely positive. They love any knowledge that, we will, that we're able to impart on them. They're so positive and they have such a great attitude. The life-saving skills are not the only thing strengthened through this partnership training, however. The Zambians and Americans truly came together as a team over the week, according to Corporal George Mutali Mulenga. Uh, the teamwork atmosphere was uh, super cool. We were able to coordinate with, uh, the, with the medics as well as the, the, the uh, stretcher carriers. The relationship they built was more than just a team, however. Captain Stewart even earned an honorary place within the Bemba tribe. She's also Maluba. She's Bemba by tribe now. She told me that she wanted to be Bemba, so I gave her a Bemba name, Maluba, which means flowers. They call me the flower. Apparently I'm lovely like a flower and that's just sort of the bond and the camaraderie that we've had to, that we've been able to make with the local Zambians. They've just been wonderful and they take a, they've taken us in just like our family members. Air Force Staff Sergeant John Archiquette, Lusaka, Zambia. The goal of Southern Accord is to improve the interoperability between the U.S. and African forces and to combat terrorism and transnational threats in the region.
Since the formation of the Partnership for Peace between NATO and several other countries 11 years ago, member nations have taken part in a yearly training exercise. Army Sergeant Danny White has more on what the 18 partner nations did for Rapid Trident 2015. The week-long training exercise Rapid Trident strengthened the bond between NATO and Partnership for Peace member nations. This year, the exercise took place at the International Peacekeeping and Security Center in Yavoriv, Ukraine. 1,800 service members trained for peacekeeping and stability operations. So it's just getting together and showing them like our basic techniques on how we would do something like enter and clear a room or you know a squad attack or anything like that and then uh, we learn from them and then they learn from us as well. Rapid Trident is a U.S.-European command joint exercise program. It's an annual exercise designed to build on an interoperability between NATO and Partnership for Peace member nations. Uh, the exercise has matured uh, in that it is combined with another ongoing exercise called Sabre Guardian, all designed to uh, help the training center at Yavoriv improve its capability by doing a distributed command post exercise. It, it strengthens the link between this training center uh, and U.S. and other national training centers. The joint exercise helps allied forces build a common set of standards and procedures for joint operations in the future. For the NATO Report, I'm Army Sergeant Danny White. Operation Atlantic Resolve is an ongoing multinational partnership focused on joint training and security cooperation between NATO allies. U.S. soldiers supporting Atlantic Resolve stepped away from training to build relationships in the local community. Uh, today we came out and we thought it would be a great opportunity to bring out our equipment, our strikers and a Humvee and uh, some weapons as well to kind of let the, uh, the people of Noah Deba just uh, check out our equipment and uh, really to explain to them a little bit more what we're doing here, training. Uh, it's a great opportunity to come out here and kind of get away from training. Uh, cause out here we actually get to interact with the actual people of Noah Deba and kind of experience um, kind of what their <laughs> thoughts are and uh, what we're doing here and just getting a lot of positive feedback, so it's been great. From having fun at a block party in Poland to a little friendly competition in Latvia, the troops continue to create lasting friendships beyond the training. In our final story of the night, Sergeant Summer Wood highlights soldiers taking a break from training to share in America's favorite pastime. Let's play ball. Soldiers from Attack Company 1st Battalion 503rd Infantry Regiment of 173rd Airborne Brigade put down their weapons and put on their gloves for a game against the Latvia National Baseball Team. The First Rock troops are in Latvia supporting Operation Atlantic Resolve, an ongoing partnership that focuses on joint training and security cooperation between the U.S. and NATO allies. The soldiers were able to take a break from training and enjoy a piece of home. It's pretty cool to see that our pastime has made it all the way this far across the world and uh, really interesting on how actually good they are and their uh, fundamentals and everything were. The friendly match proved to be a fair one as both teams went back and forth for the lead. The Latvian national team would come out on top 11 to 7. The competitive spirit was alive and well on each side, but the relationship developed between the two countries was the real winner. For us, it's important to show that we are like friendly and we are welcome American troops here, and it's really good, and we appreciate that, and that's one way of showing it too, just having a friendly game and and just hanging out, and I think it's a great thing to do. Reporting from Riga, Latvia, for the 16th MPAD, I'm Army Sergeant Summer Wood. The Latvian team hopes to make this an annual event with American allies. That's all for tonight's show. We'll see you again next week. For more on these stories and others around Europe, subscribe to our AFN Europe YouTube page, or you can download our mobile app. You can also like us on Facebook to keep up to date on the latest military news happening around Europe. I'm Sergeant Tiffany Collins, wishing you a great night.